on and coach a really impressive performance all around from your group again today. I thought y'all were at your best offensively. Yeah, you know, they, they were being aggressive and um, you know, I took a few bad shots, I thought, just but uh, you know, turned the ball over a few times too many in that first half mainly. But uh, but yeah, did a good job shooting. I thought we shot well and uh, you know, they did I, if nothing else, we got better, and that's what we wanted to come out of this game for. A bit of a size advantage down low, it's safe to say, Coach, but I thought your group was sound again on the boards. Your group always finding a body down in the low block. Yeah, and that's, that's going to have to be an emphasis for us for the rest of the year. That, that's not something that any given night we can take uh, take a break on. You know, it, it's been kind of our Achilles heel thus far, and, and we're working to uh, – we're working uh, relentlessly to fix it. One thing you've got to like, Coach, 46 points in the paint tonight. Mac and Katie, they were really good. Katie did a good job navigating through foul trouble in the second half. Yeah, and that was one of the keys, you know, to, to win the paint and uh, to get the ball inside and really establish that inside game early. And uh, it was kind of hard to do that with all the trapping and stuff they were doing early. But uh, I, feel, I feel like once we kind of settled down and ran on offense, we got the ball inside. Yeah, off the quick turnaround, I thought your group showed a lot of energy in the first half. They did. They did. And uh, hopefully what we did in the preseason, you know, prepared them for, for you know, stretches like that and, and games. We're, we're going to have quick turnarounds, you know, through the rest of the season, playing Thursday, Saturday, most nights. And so, uh, you know, we're going to have to learn to bounce back, and I thought they did a good job of that. Another thing your group carried over from Saturday, 10 of 17 from the three-point arc. Coach, your group is shooting it from the perimeter. We've discussed it time and time again. They play at another level offensively. They do. We've got we've got a lot of threats, and, you know, they, they – work hard in the preseason you know they've got to get their license to be able to shoot so um you know and, and i think that enables them to shoot with confidence and so it's good to see them let it uh, you know let it fly so to say and you had to have liked to get the whole bench in today coach you got to clear the bench get everybody in there i thought haley feetzler and desiree turner were terrific off the bench late in this one yeah i think it's good you know i mean you, you don't uh, you can sit over there on the bench and think you know about what a college game might be like, but until you get that experience, you don't really know. And so I think it's really good, you know, to be able to get them in and get some, them some game experience, and, and hopefully it'll it'll carry over and uh, you know to years to come. All right, coach, you break for 12 days now before southeastern Oklahoma. How critical is this 12-day stretch to get healthy and to get rested? Uh, I think it's mentally, physically, emotionally. You know, everybody. Uh, myself included, and uh, needs time with their family and time to kind of unwind and, and, and get away. You know, it's a very intense and very uh, rigorous season, and uh, it's, it's good to have a, a couple of breaks. You know, I'm, I've, I've always been of the mindset that less is more sometimes, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this break, and I know the players are as well. Go enjoy the holiday with your girls, Coach. I'll see you All in a couple right. weeks. Thank you, Kyle. Charlton State Head Coach Missy Wilson. Her